Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D land tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is make it so when we attack with our sword um, we can actually attack people with our sword base and it damages them and then it will eventually kill them. So it's really really easy to do and a good thing about it is that we're going to make it as well so that it looks complex but it's actually not if you get me. I need to assign it first. So we equip it to the left and then when we attack we need to actually attack basically so the way we're going to do it is we're going to say if a weapon called players well player left hand weapon or player left right weapon hits an enemy then it damages them so we'll start by doing that so we're going to keep this pause because i've got stuff to do with it after so we're going to find something called enemy fire enemy land is that enemy land collisions enemy land collisions so we're opening enemy land collisions up because that's more we'll be using so what we're going to do is come down to where it says on collision, stay here then, but we're going to add a new one to it. So we're going to type function on trigger enter. So when our object hits it and goes through, call collider, that's it. And we're going to simply type it in here, if call game object dot name equals player left weapon simple as that and then when it does it we need to hit them so we can't use that one because actually we can use that so we're just going to tap hitting just like that so every time we hit them it'll take one off we'll eventually make that one equal to the damage of whatever weapons hitting them but that should do for now so that hits them easy enough so what we now need to do is when we collect a sword if you have a look at our main char the sword just simply adds as whatever name it is, and we can't put a name in every single time. So there's two ways, two ways we can do it. We can either use a tag, which would be really, really easier, or we can rename the, the game object every time. So we're going to use a tag. So this is really easy to do. So first thing we've got to do is add a tag boot. So we're going to unplay our game, else it'll get rid of the tag after. And we'll click any object and we'll just add a tag for now. So add tag, and we'll call this one player left weapon and then we'll make another one called player right weapon because the two will be the different Boom. just like that so whenever we spawn we need to say their tag now equals this okay so we go back to our character and go to our player inventory or inventory GUI and open it up so we scroll down till we get the part where we start equipping here so right because it's different we're going to attach it here so game object find player left hand easy enough left hand dot game object dot tag equals and then we paste what we called it which was player left weapon just like that and that'll give it that tag so we can copy that and paste it in here and then edit the bits what need to be edited just like that so that'll set it as that tag, so we should try it. So we seem to have made a little error in our script. When we've actually set the, ta the tag of it, left hand, if we look what left hand is, it's actually the player's left hand, we're setting the wrong thing. So we need to get rid of that. And we need to actually put it in here, which means putting the brackets in. So it makes it a little bit longer, but not too much longer. So we put it in here, and we instead call it spawn weapon, just like that. And we can copy the... In fact, we can just use the top one. Right there. So we can take it out of here and paste it in here. Just like so. Spawn weapon. Now, when we try it, it'll actually spawn the correct one. So now, as you can see, it's tagged it player left weapon. So it makes it a lot easier. So now we can go up to our enemy script, our land collisions. And instead of putting game object tag, we put game object, well, instead of putting name we put tag and then we make sure we've got this right so player left weapon and then after this we can put or and then what we do is put this again but change it to right weapon so it saves having two if statements so if it equals right or if it equals left so we can go and collect the weapon then go and attack him and see if it works so we've collected our weapon right here and if we click our enemy to actually see his health here and we see if we click the right one there 
enemy life. So we go back, put our sword on and we attack him. So look, it's not attacking. Then we attack. So as you can see, it's not working yet. And you may be wondering, well, why is it not working? It's clearly attacking them. And the reason is, is that our sword, it's got a problem with it, kind of. If you go and find your sword here, the actual sword is called player left weapon, yes? But if you go into it, the blade's the one with the capsule collider. So if we were to, say, stand back a little bit and switch the capsule collider to the wooden sword, or remove it and add it, like so, And we also need to make it a trigger. That's what happens if you don't make it a trigger. So we'll do it out of game. We need to find a prefab. So in resources, prefabs, weapons, and we'll select wooden sword and we'll drag it out. We'll focus on it, but we'll not make it a wooden sword there. We'll put the capture collider on the actual well sword. So when it tags it, it's saying the right one's hitting it. Otherwise, it won't recognize it. So capsules on there so we'll just play with it make sure it's right and everything then increase, decrease the radius I don't want to make it too close to the blade so it's far enough away from the player so we just drag it up a little bit but there is one error what I'm expecting to get the error is that when we walk right up to them and just poke them with our sword it'll cause a glitch and attack them which is not what we want so we'll drag with the sword and then place it here now we can get rid, I'll click the sword, go up and continue. So I'm back and I've clicked the entity so you can see he has 5 life. So we go up and press E and we'll strike him. Strike. So, oh dear. So as you can see, it worked. We hit him, he died. Hooray. But the only issue was, is we could walk up to him and attack him. We can actually do it to any of them as well. Watch. It walks up and attacks him. And that's not what we want. We're getting loads of health for it. We can also attack them like that. As you can see, that one didn't hit them enough. There you go. But we only need it to do one damage and then stop damaging it. So how do we do that? Now, there's an easy, easy way to do it. So there are many, many ways we can change it. So we could, when the object hits them in our script, we could turn the tag to something else. But the only issue is that is when do we turn it back to it? There's many, many of these we can do it. The way I'm going to go around it is every time it hits it, it's going to turn the collider off. It's going to completely turn it off. So if I can find something that's got a collider, uh, the garage wall, it's going to go off, completely disable it. But whenever we click attack, it's going to put it back on. So that's what we need. So by default, it needs to have its collider turned off. So we'll go to wooden sword, disable collider, that easy. So we're going to go back to our fire script. Fire script is it? Yes. So we need to go up to play a fire. Here. And we'll find where we've actually attacked. Which is here. Gameobject.find blah blah blah. So in here we'll type gameobject.find game object with tag. Quite a long one there, all capitals are not words. Except the first ever game object. So game object find, game object with tag. If you wanted to find multiple ones, you put an S, find game objects. Where it only wanted to find one, so find game object. And then we put the tag in. So find game object with tag. And then we'll type dot collider dot enabled equals true. So as soon as we attack, it enables the collider. Simple enough. But now what we need to do is turn the collider back off when we hit them. So we go back to our enemy line collisions. And underneath the hit script, so when we hit them and it takes life off, we're going to type call.gameObject.collider.enabled equals false. So it turns it off. So we hit them, it turns it on, it hits them equals false. Really, really easy. So I'll go and collect the sword. Here. And I'll equip it. Left hand, perfect. You see it's got no um, collider. And we attack it. When we walk up and hit it, look, nothing happens. We press E. Boom. But it already took it off because, well, it were pointed in. So if you go back to Entity, as you can see. So if we stand to the side and hit him. Three. Two. One. And dead. Perfect. So we've got sword striking now. 
It only works on one hand for now, but we've got a lot of bugs to fix with it. It's a big process of attacking the sword. Thank you for watching. I really, really hope you liked it. Please join my Facebook group, and I'll see you next time.